pro-independence activists have even printed out packs of ballot papers at a secret location, and volunteers are handing them out to people who want to vote. Our correspondent went to one of those warehouses where papers were seized by police. The National Guard, the police, has been sent over this morning to this area here, as you can see probably behind me, and they have been asked by the General Attorney of Spain to stop anybody to for going in or out with any material whatsoever. This is obviously to prevent the material that is supposed to be used for the election to be handed over to all the voting centers spread all across Barcelona. So let's try to talk to the local people to see what the people around here think about what's going on with the police and for the referendum this Sunday. I don't think the problem is the presence of the police. They're just following orders. The occupation forces that we have right here are continuously trying to invalidate the votes, trying to confiscate the ballot boxes, as if it were a cocaine or heroin shipment. Because of them, this is worse than drugs. In the United States, copyright law allows for the fair use of copyrighted material under certain limited circumstances without the prior permission from the owner. Under the law, determinations of fair use take into account the use, the nature of the copyrighted work, the amount and substantiality of the work used in relation to the work as a whole, and the effect of the use upon the potential market for the copyrighted work. Other jurisdictions may have similar copyright provisions protecting fair use or fair dealing. If you are uncertain as to whether a specific use qualifies as a fair use, you should consult a qualified copyright attorney. You have the right to take it down.